here is my haul. I went to Tuesday morning, of course, um, specifically looking for one Jane Davenport item and one Paige Evans item, and I only found one of those. Um, but I went to an estate sale. I don't really go to those anymore uh, that much because I kind of have enough of the vintage junk journal stuff. But when one pops up and there's craft rooms in them, um, or you know, my husband's in law enforcement and he's a veteran also, so he kind of likes to see there was like an old CIA guy uh, estate sale coming up, and so we're gonna go to that one. You know, he's got a whole bunch of fun toys, if you know what I mean. So, anyways, he wanted to stop by this one, um, and I found this time book, which I thought was neat, and it's just just that, but you know, like a vintage. Um, just pieces that I can rip out, you know, things like that. So it was only two bucks. As far as the craft room, that thing was full. I only walked away with two things. And I'm surprised the guy only charged me a dollar. Because this guy who runs estate sales is so expensive. I talked about him in another haul. It was ridiculous what he was charging. Um, but I found these. Nothing big. But I've always wanted to try the uh, P.H. Martin watercolors. So it's just like a burgundy and a, and a teal. So I was, I was kind of excited to see these in the lady's stash. She had a knockoff Razcog and they had $65 on it. And this poor woman was like, oh, I'll buy that. And here I am. I was like, excuse me, um, you can go to Michael's or even Ikea and get one for under $30. <laughs> People are like, probably like, shut up, lady. 65 bucks, you guys, for a, that wasn't even a real Razcog. So kind of felt bad for her. But you know what? That, maybe she want to put it together. So. Okay, so this is what I got. Nothing big. You know, I just like to show that. And then as far as, you know, I always like to show you what I'm getting in the mail. Um, this is from Johanna. No, Johanna. I'm sure Little Bindi. Um, she, on YouTube, and she also makes beautiful junk journals. She had these uh, printable, like every month she would put out like a zine um, that we could put all together. And at the end of the year have um, 12 months worth of these pages and there was a lot of extras like scanning of doilies and vintage papers and um, I did get a, probably about four months of them but then I stopped and I saw she was putting these out as a whole printable I got the misprinted one it was maybe five or ten dollars cheaper because some words were cut off on the bottom when they printed it out I was like yeah I'll take it because I'll probably cut this up but here it is I think everybody knows her um, but yeah it's just you know stapled together it's, it's glossy and you don't get any of the obviously the extra printables but you know it's just fun to look through like um, Little Raven Inc was a guest spot um, you know so <clears throat> they still have the prompts um, she puts prompts every month so at least I have those but you know just something to cut up because I always like to do it or just look at it so yeah so I got, I got that from her came from Australia so it took a while but as far as um, Tuesday morning, I picked up uh, this Jen Hadfield, the washi stickers. I don't think I showed this. No, because I didn't get this one yet. This one does have brown in it, but I liked the black and white stripes. So remember, I wasn't too happy with the last one I got. So I did grab this one. Um, these are just kind of things that are not specific to what I went for. I have gotten probably about three packs of these DIY shop. I like the um, the bigger rings, you know, for two bucks, you get that whole, this is what I hold um, a lot of journals or things together with, so I grabbed another one of those. Um, <clears throat> these are older, I've seen them there before, I don't know why I ever picked, you know what, I probably have these. I really liked this uh, collection from Fancy Pants, the Take Note, and I'm a sucker for ephemera packs and also for things like this, so these are just like little library looking cards. Of pockets and cards so I got that one I love the navy blue it's my favorite color and then I do have the stickers from this and I th think some ephemera but again I'm also a sucker for project life kind of cards so I think these have been there for a while as well I, I think they're like returns when I see people when these pop up but yeah just got those um Mila's doing a report on Walt Disney so I just picked up a couple of uh Disney things for her because I remembered they were really cheap there and this is random but um, I got this gift tissue I always look for 
uh, napkins and tissue paper that has a pretty background that I could collage in my art journals. So you probably only get like, oh yeah, eight print, 12 solid. <laughs> I was gonna say two, but I'll take eight. So, and I only use little pieces. Anyway, so this is only $1.99. So I got that one. And then I don't think I showed this in my last haul. I might have, but these are my favorite storage um, envelopes and not for Project Life. I store stickers, long stickers in these. Um, so like when I just want, I don't know, <clears throat> sometimes with my vintage stickers, you know, it's just all in a little envelope. Um, so I, I like these for storing pieces of ephemera or anything I'm working on. So if they would have had more, I would have got all of them because they're only $4.99. Um, so I grabbed the only one I saw. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. See, I could barely make room to do this. What I wanted to go for was these. I have the, uh, yeah, I have a lot of her stuff. I never picked up the Power Pastels because I wasn't sure. I don't like to put fixatives on anything. Um, so as I'm lazy and I don't care if things move, but there was just something about this that I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to get these. Um, I do like her water soluble crayons. I don't think they're the greatest. Um, I like the Neo colors the best. Um, and I actually like Dina Wakeley's better than Jane Davenport's. I don't know why I think Jane Davenport's are too chalky for me and don't spread as well. Um, you definitely have to put gesso under whatever you're working with. Um, but they say smudging crayons and I was just hoping to find these because, you know, at $7.99 is, is not cheap, but it's cheaper than 20 So I was, I was kind of excited. This is out of the Jane Davenport stuff. I wanted this because I have everything else. So, um, I was, I was happy. This is what I went for and this is what I got. This was a total impulse splurge because I have so many mats. <laughs> Uh, the Heidi Swap one, and I don't even use them that much. Um, and to be honest, I know I'm always like kind of negative. Well, this was $9.99 first. Very sticky. Um, I, I just didn't think it was that cute. I was like, why is it white? And yeah, uses an ink palette? No, because it would stain, wouldn't it? But I still got it because I hate this ugly thing, and I have nice wood under here, so I thought I'd give this a try. Um, just to throw it down. And like I always say, if it doesn't work for me, I'll throw it on Mila's side. So I was kind of excited to see this because I would never spend $30 on anybody's mat. So, but that was kind of like my little splurge. Um, these are some of my favorite paint pens. They do dry out pretty quickly though. Um, this would be the third pack that I've bought. And um, I use the heck out of this peach one. And kind of the white it, that it, they don't work bad I still will always love Posca paint pens um, and those Montana or Mal Malta Malato um, signet like I think they're they're much better but these are nice to just kind of add like little highlights and stuff so I had to grab one of these because I like using these it's just like I said they you got to use them quick um, and then <clears throat> this is actually the only washi from her collection I never got because I was like, uh, I don't know, but for two bucks, you know, sometimes like a price will make you buy something. Yeah. So that's another, you know, I bought all these washi drawers. Um, yeah, I want to purge a lot of my washi. I was thinking about making like de stash boxes on here for really cheap to just get them out. But I, I just, oh yeah. I don't want to take the time to do all that. And then I feel like people are like, I don't want your leftover stuff. And yeah, so I just have too much of everything and I really want to just focus on what I use, not, oh my gosh, I have to have that. Okay, so got these because $1.99 is pretty darn good. Um, I went back and found the horse one I was telling you guys about. I thought I had them all. Um, and I actually, I think I did see this, but I felt like this yellow rose was the same as the other, as one of her other ones, but it's not, they're all different. Um, so I, I like the florals that came on this one. So I did end up getting this one. So I think I have all of these now, but again, it's like, where am I going to put this? Where am I going to put all seven boxes? And if I even showed you what I have sitting out, oh my goodness. So here's this, um, here's something this has been there forever these tags 
I don't know why I never pick them up because I'm a sucker for tags. I think it's I've really been drawn to this mustard color. I've been buying shirts that are mustard, buying sweaters. I bought pillows for my my couch. I'm really into this mustard color. Um, but then I was kind of tricked because I thought these were these came in it, and then I looked and it's the back of these. But what dollar fifty? Sorry, I was out of frame. So these are totally old. I don't know why I always passed them up, but I got them today. Um, these are new. I've never seen these. These are the envelopes from Heidi Swap. I always love these to throw in my junk journals or it's just in a journal. They're kind of bulky, but I like them. And two bucks. I grabbed another one of these carousel because I love these alphas right here. Love, love, love them. I used them in my December daily. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed another one of, sorry, of these. Uh, whimsical. I think I'm the only one that doesn't really care for Whimsical. Um, I have a few pieces that I ordered when it first came out, like the ephemera and stuff, but I really want the 2 by 2 cards. And I might went crazy with the last one she did. I found those, so I'm hoping that they're just going to come in. I just feel, okay, so I got these enamels just on a whim. I feel like this whole craze of Maggie Holmes is so like, I don't know. I love it because I love that we're all like getting it and we're getting so hyped up about it. And it's like this unicorn or, you know, and it's, it's, it's funny because nothing came in that made people like stand in line and wipe stuff out of Tuesday morning the minute it came in. I've never seen anything come through except maybe when Tim Holtz put out some of his stuff but this is this I love it I love that we're all so like oh my gosh and I love that some people have never liked her stuff or never knew of her stuff until like now I don't know I think it's awesome now if we would just use it right okay so anyways and then um I'll probably I won't use these as paper clips these were only $1.19 I'm probably gonna cut these off and just use these little enamel pieces because I always do things like that um, I have puffy hearts actually from the Dollar Tree and Target had super cute during their Valentine's a few years ago um, that look exactly like this minus the pop dot but um, yeah so I got this I don't know who mentioned why the packaging is different um, I think that American Crafts put this out themselves um, along with I mean American Crafts does create paper too but you know it's because <clears throat> if you look they're the same original prices but for some reason I, I, I remember seeing these like on scrapbook.com they're just packaged differently um, and so but some of them are like a little slightly different color but yeah it's still I mean American Crafts does everybody but um, I remember them putting out like a generic line for all of their hip designers but yeah so I got these I don't know what I'm gonna do with these I don't I don't do layouts anymore I just uh, that was my number one love but I don't I just don't enjoy them anymore I guess um, and this is what I would buy it for but I just like everybody else it's just they're cute I wanted them um, and then oh gosh you guys I went and just did it I just got the other one I'm kind of um, looking for, I don't really like anybody else's that much. Maybe the Jen Hadfield. And I feel like I'm the only one as well that I don't really like Jen Hadfield's, um, lines. I just, I, I, I do, but nothing really stood out. Oh God, everybody's seen this. What am I doing? Okay. So I got another one of these. Nothing really stood out at me. It was like, oh yeah, that's cute. But it's, it, you know, I wouldn't use it except this line. This along the way line. I didn't even know this came out. What year did this come out? Oh, last year. You know what it is? It is. Let me show you. It is these girls. These girls kill me. <laughs> I love these little girls. I like this paper too. Um, oh my gosh. I think I would use almost every single page in here. So, this is probably the only line that I really like of hers. This, to me, is like how Maggie Holmes is to everybody else. I had to get some 
pieces of this. Not all of it, because I, I don't want to buy something I'm not going to use. Um, and and I, I mix my collections. I don't store my collections together. I'm just weird like that. I think it's because I know what I specifically want on something, and so I'll go find it. Um, but I see everybody showing their like collections and I was like, man, I wonder if I should do that. Like, but then I think it would, I don't want to say the P word, piz me off because then it's like, oh my gosh, girl, you have all of that. You didn't need all that. <laughs> so everything's spread around because that's how I create in my mind is that why I like to mix things. But so I'm never one that, you know, I've never been like, oh, I have to get the whole collection. Um, but this, I did want specific pieces. Anyways, I'm babbling on. Um, some of these don't even go with it. But I had to get these because, again, tags. And that darn little girl, I'm telling you. I am telling you. And I wouldn't, I would, a lot of these, because you get so many. That's a nice, hefty package. I would fussy cut. I'd cut apart these. You know, I wouldn't use them for tags all the time you know like I'd cut her out or I can't even tell if I'm in frame or the you know the flowers so you kind of get you can do a few things with stuff like that um this I don't use wood veneers anymore um you're probably like okay hey, everything you say you always have why did I get this well because I know some of us feel that way but we pretend we like it all <laughs> uh, can I just say it the girl the girl in the houses they did it it did it. Oh, I even like this. I just, I have so much wood veneers. I think I have one Alex Shore that's dedicated to wood veneers. I don't use them. But these, I feel like making a, like a little album with, with the first time that I would use a collection for something. I just loved those. And then as far as the ephemera, because I'm a sucker. Um, I didn't really like this one that much, but I did get it still. A lot of brown. Maybe it's because her, I feel like all her stuff has brown or parrots or flamingos. So I only got one of, um, of this, but I had to get two of these because, um, these little bowls right here, I love these and I wish it was a pack of just all those. And I love the embroidery. Um, I have pieces on the floor that I want to hang in my room. I love embroidery. I used to do it and I don't anymore, but oh my goodness, these would be so cute on a page. Sorry. So I got two of those and yeah, no, I got two of these. <laughs> I don't know. What is it with these little girls? You guys, why do I love those little girls? Why is everything all fuzzy? Maybe because it's bright. I feel like maybe it's just my screen's dirty. Should I clean this? Hold on. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, so I got two of these. Um, a lot of gold in it, but well, not too much. So yeah, got two of those. So that, that's it. There is nothing I want that I'm specifically looking for. Um, except those two by two whimsical, but th that's, <laughs> watch the next haul. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got the paper pad. <laughs> so this is too much stuff. I have got... Come on, I've got to just, ugh. If I'm going to bring all this in, stuff has to go out. Stuff from whether it be back in the day or something I just bought last week. It's got to go. Like when I'm done with December Daily, I'm going to get rid of, I wish it was Christmas so I could put together boxes and go, here you guys, have them. I'm so over Christmas. I'm over all of these collections I got. At the end, when I show you my book, I'm going to tell you how ridiculous it was. I bought what I bought, and I used maybe one collection. But I'm almost there. <laughs> it's getting a little too heavy. Or not too heavy. Too full right here. Um, but, oh my gosh. And you'll be able to see when I flip through it. In the beginning, I was like, hey, matchy, matchy. going to be so cute. Now, I'm like, just get it down. Because I don't care anymore <laughs> if anything matches. I have like 17 pictures from Christmas Day that I need to put in. And, oh my gosh, I'm just going to throw it in and call it a day. So I'm going to do a flip through, dang it, of this big old thing. So anyway, sorry that was a long video. I just wanted to show you my craft room. 
and show you my haul. So let me know down below if you're if you're interested. I probably wouldn't start it until after I'm finished with this book, um, but I want to get on it, and maybe that'll keep me accountable. Um, and then I can just go get rid of all of this stuff and just really focus on what I enjoy doing and not so much I got to hold on to it all. You know what I mean? So anyways, thank you so much for watching and listening to me and looking at what I bought. And I love seeing what all of you bought. Love, love, love it because you pushed me and enabled me to go out. Anyways, have a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.